cheap rates and decent currency conversions. New York City being invaded, as always, by the mega rich. Foreign buyers now swooping in, uh, buying the priciest of the pricey pads. So can domestic buyers still compete on the high end? Our real estate correspondent Diana Olick is back with us today, along with Dolly Lenz, a friend of the program. She's Manhattan's high end property guru from Prudential Douglas Element. What's going on, Diana, in New York? Well, what we're really seeing, Tyler, is a very bifurcated market. You've always had the co ops versus the condos, but now that you have so many foreign buyers coming into the market, they are buying up all these really high end condos and they're pushing up the prices. And that's, Dolly, where I want to bring you in because you have some of these incredible listings on these condos, specifically 15 CPW. That is a building that looks like an old style condo, a co op, but it is a condo. What are you seeing there in your listings? Well, the building is full of the mega important people of the world, the mega wealth. The, the mega happy and we have an apartment that we're going to feature on air now that's offered at 35 million dollars it's a beautiful three bedroom on a perfect place in the park on the 15th floor overlooking the park with permanently unobstructed views the building is legendary it's the building where the 88 million dollar sale just went through and it's it's just offers everything from a swimming pool to valet service to parking garage to a private entrance but so you don't have to be seen. Will this go to the foreign buyer? Or will it go to domestic? Most hedge of the people funds? bidding so far have been foreign buyers. And and I have to tell you, there's almost a new term now. It's fright capital. Europeans are coming in in droves, and they're concerned about what's happening in Europe after the election and France and everything else. And it's fright capital. They're all coming here. Where can I put my money? And really chasing property. And so it's it's French people. It's is it yes, Greeks who have if Greeks, they've got any money left? It's French people. It's Italians. It's Spanish. It's English. How about the Russians who were uh, so active both in London and in Manhattan? Russians seem to have tapered off now. Not fried capital, but it's Chinese. Chinese. A lot of Chinese and a lot of billionaire names. I assume that uh, these folks are not uh, those who who are particularly lured by 3.75 percent mortgages. No, in in fact, you know that's only going to lure the people who really can't afford it. <laughs> almost right but by the way I, I um, refinanced my mortgage yesterday for the seventh time in a year the seventh, seventh time, in a, time year. in a year and the bank didn't call me up and say do you want to refinance your mortgage yeah they had to call them up what's going on yeah. Yeah, well Dolly when we're looking though at the co-ops you've also mm -hmm. got some amazing listings I think we're showing now of mm -hmm. you know these are the older styles are the foreigners able to get into these at all and what is the price differential now are you seeing that the condos are just so much farther above the co-ops that used to be the biggest pricing you know the co-ops are primarily still American and even still New Yorkers. Some people from outside New York, but mostly New Yorkers. It's and very hedge funds, right? right. It's very, very hard to get through the co-ops, and most of the foreigners, even if they could get in, don't want don't want to give the information they would have to give in order to pass a board. And just any concern, finally, that anything going on overseas would take away some of that money. Well, or you know, bring more of it in. I think it'll bring more of it into New York. I mean, the rest of the country is, is a different situation. As you said, it's a bifurcated market. The rest of the country is not being helped at all by any all of right. this. Dolly, thank you very much. Thank Great you. as always to see you, Diana. Good to see you and have you in the house.